Hey guys, Nick here from Tech 2020, and today let's talk about thorium and how eight grams of this radioactive metal could power your car for over a century. Let's get started. <laughs> Now, getting to the point, is this a legitimate possibility? And well, yes, thorium-powered cars, or more aptly, thorium-powered lasers provide for the thoroughly plausible prospect of nuclear cars. A silvery white metal, thorium is a mildly radioactive element that is abundant in India and serves as a much-touted stand-in for uranium in certain nuclear reactors. Now, if done right, the cars that these thorium-powered lasers can produce will be totally emissions-free and have no need for recharge. It's pretty cool. Now, just to clear things up, the car isn't actually powered by thorium. You won't be able to go to the store, buy thorium, put it in your gas tank, and hope that the car runs. The metal is being tested in a closed turbine electric generator system that uses a thorium laser to heat fluid and create pressurized steam in a closed loop system. The steam then drives a turbine, which turns an electric generator. A typical 250 kilowatt unit, equivalent to about 335 horsepower, weighs 500 pounds and would fit under the hood of any mid-sized car. Charles Stevens, the head of the R&D firm that creates this laser apparatus, claims that one gram of thorium has the equivalent potential energy of over 7,500 gallons of gasoline, and how resultingly eight grams of thorium could power the car for about a century. Thorium has this amazing capability because it's an incredibly dense metal, meaning that when heated, it requires a ridiculous amount of energy to break down thorium bonds. People also grouse about how thorium is an overly radioactive metal that's dangerous to humans, when in reality, only a thin layer of aluminum foil is what's needed to protect yourself from this weakly emitting metal. However, that's not to say that this project is without its drawbacks, because there are some technical hurdles that remain in regards to efficiency with the turbine and electric generator. But you can be sure that I'll keep you updated. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.